time I've laid eyes on this thing. I'm absolutely loving the mule. Looks like a little aluminum logo on there. Um, I love the rustic look of this. The relicking looks awesome and authentic. Uh, very cool. The, the thickness of this tortoise is super cool. It reminds me of some stuff Scott Walker does. Uh, it just takes, it's like a luxurious thing, you know, like just taking tortoise to a different, another level. But I love the idea of, of having the actual electric guitar style and the thinness of the body. And also this, the cup on the back is very comfortable. The way that this is shaped, sits and sits real nice up against you. Yeah, this is this is sweet. The wood choices are awesome. The the finish work looks really really good. The finish looks like antique or rustic without it being like overly worn or relic, you know? Yeah, no, it, it just looks like a nice gunstock oil finish. It's just overall, it's really, really well done. It sounds good. Nice and balanced tone. It's a nice little resonator tone in an electric guitar package, which is very useful for anybody wanting that uh, national resonator voice. I noticed myself that the neck is really comfortable. It's got a little heft to it, but it's it's still super comfortable, you know? I love it. It feels great. I'd buy one. <laughs> now I know that this is like the perfect guitar for you. I mean, you, <laughs> yeah. you dig this kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. and, and the fact that it's actually electric <clears throat> just even makes it a oh, little yeah. bit cooler. You know, that much cooler. Yeah. Um, give me your initial impressions of the instrument. Stuff like that looks like this has been floating around inside my head for forever. So like I look at this and I'm like, oh man. And then I start actually really looking at it. Aesthetically, it, it ticks all the boxes for me. It, it is a, uh, a guitar that looks like something that theoretically could be old, and it feels like it's broken in, like a really nice pair of shoes or something like that, but it's not, but it's not worn out by any means. It's crisp and brand new. Because I make guitars, I'm a nerd for necks. Like, if the neck feels too weird, I'll still play it if it's a cool guitar, but Dude, this neck, it's, <laughs> oh, it feels so good in your hand. It's, it's exactly what, what it needs to be. Uh, it's a guitar that makes you want to play it. What I've found is that it's a guitar that, that I would make for myself if I made yeah. that type of guitar. Yeah. Now, this is closer to something you would make. Yeah, it is. The wood is killer. The finish is just, just right. It's... It, like the patina and the way that all of this looks, I have a resonator that's just been beat to crap. And it's it, like how this is worn off is how it's worn off on my resonator. Like it's exactly the same. True to form. Right? Yeah. So resonators and resonator players, they'll put up with a lot. Like the, 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 it's like banjos. They, old resonators never play quite right. This plays like a really nice guitar. Like it's all of the cool things a resonator is, and an electric guitar, and just a good guitar. It seems like he's found that perfect marriage yeah. between like modern precision and classic vintage feel and looks. Yeah. This sound, it's all of those fun resonator sounds. But then, so you can like totally just record this and then in the other room, plug it into like a freaking full stack or whatever. You can plug it into anything.
<laughs> Thanks, Mark. That's you all bet. I need, man. Dude, this That's thing great. is freaking rad. It is super cool, right? Like I'm like and like a, this nice big old chunk of tort. Oh, yeah. Guitar nerd in me just is like, oh yeah.